Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, some more SnowRunner. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I've played this. Uh, you notice we're in a different truck. It's because I think some of my mods got uh, shuffled around. So I just went ahead and downloaded some more. And what happened... Oh, no. It gave me, like, all my money from the trucks I had. So I'm just like, eh, whatever, I'll just buy, I'll just buy another truck. I want to do some of these uh, contracts. Thing. Think which one? He's a uh, dirty deeds, which is basically just picking up oil and delivering it. Very simple. So that's why I have the trailer because we need four things of oil barrels, and uh, my truck carries two, and the trailer carries two. So this should work out perfectly fine. So anyway, uh, this is not the original video I was planning for this week. I was originally going to make a video about this iPod project. That uh, was gonna make for someone. Alright, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, so. Originally, I was gonna get some, like, uh. Give someone an iPod, like, as a gift. You know? You know, that's what you do when you're nice. And. Oh, uh, shit. And for whatever reason, uh, I just couldn't get it to them. There was like difference in schedules and just never like worked out. So I thought, alright, I'll, ju I'll just get a fucking video out of this. That should be fine. And uh, let's just say there was a, a problem with the parts I was using. By the way, these those parts came from Elite Obsolete. So I'll have to talk to him and figure out what's going on with all that. So hopefully, hopefully that'll be next week's video. I hope. Man, that was an awful placement of this, of these way, 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 way points. Yeah, this thing has some power. I think that other, that other truck would not be able to make it, like, up this with, like, a full load. With, like, a trailer attached. Yeah, especially through all this mud. And stuff. Yeah, the thing is about this truck, though, is that it's really long. So like any like uh, like trench it has to I guess like or like river it has to cross it like a lot of times we get like high centered on like the the back and it's a little annoying. Oh yeah, there's another thing. So recently, I think back in December, I got a new uh, mouse. Essentially, it was my old mouse, but just like a newer model. It was a uh, Logitech G502, which I had used. Uh, ever since I built my original PC, and it's just worked perfectly fine. It's just, I had used it so much, I'd worn it down. Like, it just, I just needed to replace it. So, this, in December, I got a new, this G502, just replace it, get something like nice. And then, when I used it until like the new year, and then it started like kicking itself from my computer, just, Whenever I'd play like games like Minecraft or like SnowRunner or whatever, it just randomly kick itself and I have to unplug it and replug it back in. We have found absolutely nothing. We did find two diamonds. What the hell? You fucking Ah So I went ahead since it's barely even a month old and contacted Logitech support, hoping I can get a new one. And I sent, I think I like sent in the request like last week and uh, I have not gotten an update. So I'm currently using my MX Masters that I usually use for like editing on the road. Uh, this is a weird place to be in, hold up. Uh, all right. This is what I'm talking about. Getting like high centered. Thankfully, there are points. Yeah. Then you, then you just use the winch. Ooh, I should probably get gas. I just realized that. So we're like not even at the first drop point. We're already like halfway. All right, that was, that was fun. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's the factory we need to go. Alright, where did that... Okay, I just took it from the truck, okay. Alright, now off to the village. Yeah, now we're a lot faster. We got rid of all that weight. Alright, now we're in the, the log grid. This is where you start bouncing up and down for no reason. Unless you go like really far. Oh, look at that truck. Oh my god. It poor trailer. I don't know if I can fit the truck through here. I'm seeing all these rocks. I'm thinking, uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, we're just gonna take the long way around. Oh yeah. This fucking root right here, you can easily get stuck on. Yeah, almost like that. Okay, I don't know what happened. I guess someone from SnowRunner has been watching my videos, because for whatever oh shit. For whatever reason, the shifter feels a lot better now. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I have a new mouse. I I don't know. But it I it, it's better, so. Ooh, okay, this is why you don't have like a bunch of weight on your trailer. And you feel like the back end like start to give way. Uh, do I go this way and go through the mud, and this way and go through more mud? We're gonna take the adventurous way. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk going overland. That's what I was kind of thinking. I see this like giant field. I'm thinking, huh? What if I can just like plow through that and get there faster? Nope. Uh, gotta get that low gear. Alright, now we're back on the main road. Yeah, I love how in SnowRunner you have the gauges. You can, like, zoom in. Oh, that's interesting. I guess your guy just, like, leans forward. Uh, I don't- I think we should be good on gas? Yeah. Yeah, I really should move- I really should have moved the cargo. From the trailer to the bed, but mm. uh, we're too committed now. And yeah, there's a home stretch. Oh man, I didn't realize we had to get through the mud. Oh no. Ugh. Did not realize. Ah, of course, you get stuck. All right. Low diff lock. Be our savior. Alright, that wasn't too, too bad. The diff lock solves all problems. Alright. Uh, I'm thinking of leaving the trailer here and just recovering back. Uh, see you a lot next week.